father's 53 years old and he's still digging ditches. What's wrong with that? I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to go back to work. You finish your work, we'll pay you. Are we hurt for money? Yeah. It's about the everyday struggle of an ordinary American family. It's about the choices that were faced, you know, during that struggle and the different paths we can take and the consequences of these paths. No offense, you complain about it a lot. No, I'm not talking, I'm talking, I'm talking about you. What about me? You know, you're going to jail, you're getting people in trouble like that. Oh, shut we're up. We're not climbing into people. Serious? We're not climbing into people's houses and taking shits in people's hampers anymore. We're 27 years old. Going to a jail sticks with you and it sticks with my name. The film's about um, as independent as it gets. We finished the film with credit cards. All the money that uh, was put into production was not raised in a traditional sense uh, with either a producer or a production company or studio attached or investors attached. Um, saved the money up over a period of three years and put it into the film. In a way, it's a film about clans, you know, uh, uh, family, friends, unifying together, fighting against what's, what's uh, antagonistic to them or destructive to them and fighting even though the odds are against them. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get, what's this? What's more dirty hey. work? More dirty Give work? me those documents! You have no All right! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Hey, get all this! Stop it! Stop it! Hey, Ten hey, years for one development! Stop it! And you just fucking sign off and you fucking oh, take them in! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Here you have these young people who are against forces way beyond their power. These, the, these entrepreneurs who take advantage of, these, of this one, of Gabriel and his friends. It seemed to me uh, contemporary in a way. It, it reminded me of these young protesters out there now, uh, uh, protesting against greed in Wall Street. And these, this young man against uh, the, uh, the, you know, the company that's taking advantage of them. $375,000, that's my final offer. Why are you doing this? Why? Because the town ordinance doesn't pass for three to six months. If you can build on that property before then, no problem. This man is thrusted into his father's shoes in a very high, heightened emotional state where every, his world is collapsing around him. So you want to take away my land so you can make a profit? Charles. You're going to stand there and let them do that? Listen to what he's saying. You don't have take the resources the to build I don't have the resources? Six months. Right. 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 Listen right. to it. Be logical. Listen. Red, listen. Be listen. logical. What I was drawn to was the um, ongoing problem with uh, freelancers and um, uh, private contractors and you know, there's always somebody trying to squeeze somebody out, and, and, and I, I related to that. That was what gripped me, was the family's business being manipulated by a bigger company, which was the contractor. And uh, I, I felt that was, like, that hit home for me. I was very picky with what I wanted as far as uh, the casting process and, and who I wanted to play the roles, not only with the look, but most importantly, every actor in the film has some sort of personal experience within the blue collar lifestyle. And that was very important to me. Was I sitting around then? That's what a mother does. And how do you know that? Is that what your friend's mothers do? You're a psycho. You don't like me? Then get out. You got nothing, kid. You got nothing without your family, man. I got no money coming in. Do you get it? Charlie, this is crazy. That man owes my father $30,000. That's the end. The end is here. It's an important film. It deals with things that are happening today. It's strife. It's necessity. That's how gangs are formed.